Hello everyone and welcome to ASP.NET Core 1.0, also known as ASP.NET 5 MVC 6. My name is Steve Bishop and I have been in the technology industry for well over 15 years. I am a full stack .NET developer with an emphasis on ASP.NET MVC as well as Web API, formerly known as Web API. I also am a Microsoft SQL Server database administrator and my formal title is Senior Software Architect for Gartman Technical Services. You can follow me on youtube.com forward slash programming made easy, or you can read my blog at techie-tid-bits.blogspot.com, and you can also use programmingmadeeasy.com. So before we begin, let's talk about the prerequisites or things you should know before you watch this course. Since I will be speaking English throughout this course, I hope you understand English well enough to follow along. You should also have Visual Studio 2015 or higher. You should also know C Sharp 5.0 or higher. And at the time of this video, there is C Sharp 6.0, which the ASP.NET Core 1.0 uses. But as long as you understand C Sharp 5.0, you should be able to follow along just fine. Let's also go over some recommended things that you should know before you watch this course. Although they're not required, they could certainly help you out as you watch this series. It's highly recommended that you understand HTML5 since we will be using HTML extensively throughout this course. It's also very helpful if you understand ECMAScript or also known as JavaScript. And I'm gonna to toss in Node.js here because Node.js is a very integral part of the new ASP.NET Core 1.0 infrastructure. It's certainly not required in order for you to utilize ASP.NET Core, but it could certainly help with your understanding of the inner workings and what we're doing on the front end and on the back end of ASP.NET Core. We will be utilizing a SQL Server for our back end, so understanding how to use the entity framework in order to communicate with that SQL Server is a very important thing to understand. I also recommend that you know SQL Server 2008 and the SQL Server Management Studio that comes with 2008 or higher. So now let's talk about what you'll learn watching this series. You'll discover what ASP.NET Core is. We'll also be exploring the components of the MVC framework. You'll learn how to build a web application as well as design a security infrastructure using ASP.NET Identity. You'll also understand how to integrate with a SQL Server for your backend, as well as style the application with Bootstrap. You'll also be learning how to code views with the Razor View Engine. And finally, we'll plan out some of the next steps you should take after this series in order to better utilize ASP.NET Core 1.0. So that's it for the introduction. So let's go ahead and get started by learning what ASP.NET Core 1.0 is.